if you're looking for that perfect gift to win over that hard to buy for someone, why not get them a cell phone? But before you do, there are a thing, few things to consider. Amy Fuchsett joins us now live in Rift Mountain with more. Good morning to you, Amy. Good morning, guys. And Jeff, sorry, I forgot to give you a reminder, Paul. Our segment is next. Um, one of those fancy, fancy phones. Jeff, are you ready? <laughs> no, we are. We're live in Rib Mountain today where we're talking about giving cell phones as gifts. And there's so many out there, it can be kind of crazy to determine which phone is right for your perfect someone. Here to help separate through that madness, though, is Dave Crable, who's the retail manager here for Cellcom. And we're going to start with some basic phones right now. Oh, yeah. Kind of walk us through a little bit because there's so many options out there. Sure. Uh, biggest thing to consider is you need to think about who you're buying for. You better know the person when you come into the store because they're going to ask you a lot of questions. So we're going to kind of start basic, but uh, this kind of line here is if you're buying phone for grandma and grandpa uh, and you know want something just so they're safe, we've got so many different options that you can look at. Uh, just your basic phone, big buttons. We've even got phones that have dedicated 911 on it. Hit the button, you're good to go. So. Uh, there are so many different options that you're going to start basic here, and as we move around, then you start getting into the teenage set over on the other side. So, well, let's talk about basic price. What's sure. kind of a basic phone going to run somebody with a basic plan? You're going to start right around uh, ten dollars for the phone, and then you're going to go up to anywhere from thirty, forty bucks a month uh, in terms of your price range for your, your monthly fees. All right, we're going to move over into more of the teenage section, as you dubbed it. So, kind of tell us a little bit about what people should be considering when buying these phones. Um, your teenage children are not going to talk to anybody. They're only going to text. <laughs> so uh, these are the phones you're going to want to start looking at. You're going to want to get into the texting set. They all have the full QWERTY keyboards. Every single one of them is, uh, is set up so they can just text quickly all their LOLs and JKs and uh, keep in touch with their friends. This is what they're looking for. Uh, they, they all want to keep in touch strictly by text. Nobody talks to anybody anymore. Now talk to us a little bit about price here. What is this kind of phone going to run somebody? Uh, once you start getting into the, the texting, you're going to be looking right around $30 on the, all the way up, depending on if you're looking at touchscreen type phones, things like that. So, uh, And there will be on a few of them going to be some data plans required, so that will uh, run you a little bit extra on your monthly plan. Now let's move into some stocking stuffers because obviously this is a little more than a stocking stuffer price, right. but we have a whole wall of gadgets here and there's always something new and exciting to add to your cell phone. Oh yeah, there definitely is. Uh, obviously right now with the new texting laws um, yeah, and things like that you want to consider, I'm going to show you some apps later on that, but obviously we've got the headsets uh, that are, are a great stocking stuffer, a lot of Bluetooth uh, varieties and cases are actually really good. Cases, belt loops, things like that. And car chargers, I think, are definite. You need to have a car charger, uh, an extra home charger, always a, a nice little stocking stuffer to have. Now, these accessories can run the gamut in price, too, but there's something for everyone, right? Oh, there is definitely something. I mean, you can start as low as 10 bucks, and you can go all the way up to $100 on a Bluetooth if you want, you know. So, yeah, there's quite, quite the gamut, but... Uh, Plenty of stuff to stuff the stockings with. All right, so. Dave, thanks so much for those great tips. Now, guys, we're talking about how exciting and fast technology moves these days. We're going to move into more of the smartphones and the touch screens. And, of course, we're talking about buying apps for your friends. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for that last-minute gift, you don't know what to buy that perfect somebody, well, we may have a few ideas coming up for you in just a bit. And, Jeff, I know we were talking about apps earlier. Mm -hmm. It's 2010, and uh, technology <laughs> is calling. Well, I'm not picking up the phone. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> it's a passing you. phase, right? That's always the passing phase. Just, 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 passing just phase. the passing phase. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much. Live in Red Mountain this morning. We'll see you back here in the next half hour.